What's going on YouTube? Hey guys, it's Ben and today I'm going to give Swordfish an actual trial run. So yesterday I interviewed Ben, the founder of Swordfish and everything seems super cool. I've been using it a little bit today and I want to show you guys on screen exactly what it looks like. So I'll see you on the other side. All right guys, so we're inside my computer right now and we're actually going to give Swordfish a real life trial run right now. So we did talk to Ben, the founder yesterday of Swordfish, the Chrome extension that I got right up here. Um, and I'm gonna basically be targeting manufacturing companies in Seattle, finding the high level decision makers, and then from there I'm gonna be sword fishing them to basically target them by cell phone or email or whatever. So let me just click on one of the first ones I see here, Synapse. Uh, product development. Um, so their consumer electronics, I'm going to look at their employees. This is how I usually go in and find, you know, people like the partner, CTO, recruiters, controller, um, directors, whomever. And so I'm going to go ahead and just look at uh, Manny Vellon's information. So let me click on his profile. You have to be on the person's profile to actually swordfish them. And then you go ahead and hit Swordfish. And it looks like we have tons of data on Manny. So um, right now it's loading up. It takes about a second to load up his info, but we have his email um, right here. Um, this looks like it goes to his own personal email. Uh, we have another personal email, and we have two different cell phone, uh, cell phone and maybe like a home or a desk line. Either way, you've got some info on Manny right there. So we put that away. Um, and then we will back out and let's go to a different company. Um, let's check out something else. Let's go to Clarisonic, uh, consumer goods. So they have 188 employees online. Um, VP human resources. We don't want to talk to them. Um, mm, Principal product engineer. This might be somebody that we would target if we were maybe um, looking to place like a pro product manager or something like that. Um, so let's swordfish him and let's open this up. So loading up the data, again, takes a, takes a minute here. Um, and we've got his email, we've got two numbers for him and we're good to go. So we've got details on Jim. Um, so working out so far, I'd say, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find a different company. I'm going to find one more company just to make sure that Swordfish is working out for us. I'm going to go pick a random company, DMC Engineering, Industrial Automation. Um, I guess these guys are in Chicago. Um, let's go ahead and see who we can find here. Okay, the president. That's somebody that we would definitely want to swordfish. Swordfish, okay, doesn't have his info. Swordfish does not work every single time um, unless it does, unless maybe we hit the button too fast. Let's see if it's working for Frank. It's loading, loading. Oh, okay, so we do have information. Okay, so maybe I hit the button too fast. Maybe that's maybe that's something that was my fault. So we've got multiple numbers for Frank. Um, we have his work email for sure. A couple of, um, well, one personal email, and then it looks like an email from a previous company as well. Um, so you would look at these area codes, and I believe the 3112 is the Chicago. So um, that would probably be his current cell if you or desk line if you wanted to reach in there. So anyways, we've just swordfished the president at DMC Inc. And, uh, you know, if we wanted to go in and go to DMC Inc. and, you know, search for jobs, uh, we could go in and type in Chicago... Um, and there's nothing coming up. But anyways, um, at any rate, you know, you can use a lot of the data that you find um, by basically leveraging it against the company to not only contact people there, but then actually just 
find jobs they're hiring for and connect with the right people. So anyways, guys, that was a quick little demo on Swordfish. Swordfish is super awesome. Um, and it's, you know, um, uh, something that I'm going to be using a ton going forward along with Zoom Info and everything, stuff like that and other tools. But Swordfish is super, super easy to use, UI friendly and all that stuff. Um, again, not getting paid to say any of this. Just met Ben interviewed him and uh, Swordfish is a super cool tool. So anyways, I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right guys, so we literally just saw Swordfish in action on LinkedIn. I Swordfished like three or four people, one of which being the actual president of a particular company, which was super cool. Um, we could cell phone that guy, we could cold email him, we could do pretty much whatever we want. So Swordfish is basically super awesome. Um, really cool Chrome extension. I would definitely add it if I were you to your repertoire of sourcing tools. Um, and that's pretty much all I had for today, guys, on Thursday. I hope you're crushing this week. I will definitely catch you on Friday and take care.